Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Beloved, today we are going to read a very important verse from the Bible and meditate on it as we read from Ephesians chapter 3 verse 19 from the King James Version Bible. Here it says, The love of Christ which passeth knowledge. The love of Christ which passeth knowledge. Ephesians 3 was 19 we do not really see the ocean to do that is beyond our power through that vista we glimpse a bit of blue waters as though god has painted a picture and framed it with hills and trees but southward and northward on distance hidden shores stretch waters we have never never seen bays lie placid by sunlit rocks and long surges roll in the soothing rhythm on smoothly sloping sands inlets ripple under tropic moons and warming currents bear spring times promise to frozen arctic reefs beyond that curved blue line that limits our sight there rolls an open plain of waters to realms where we have never been leaving the strands of palmy island of which we do not know and this is but the surface beneath our miles of deep depths fathomless with mysteries beyond the thoughts of men god's measureless love is like the ocean through the windows of earthly life we catch a gleam from the valley of trouble we glimpse it near the shore on the sands of hope we see it wave on wave from the headlands of faith we view a broader tide to the line that blends eternity with time our happiest days are islands set in its boundless breadth yet as with the ocean we have never seen it all even eternity cannot reveal its greatness to the wandering hosts of heaven nor all the universe exhaust the foundations whence it flows we can only see a little of the ocean isn't it just a few miles distance from the rocky shore but out there far beyond our eyes horizon there's more immeasurably more we can only see a little of god's loving a few rich treasures from his mighty store but out there far beyond our eyes horizon there's more immeasurably more yes we see beloved a mighty god he is the maker of heaven and earth as we read in psalm 121 the words are true a loving father a god has loved us that he gave his only begotten son jesus christ yeshu masiha on the cross for us that whosoever believeth should not perish but have everlasting life hallelujah many are the days of sorrow that we have many days of joy and sickness and pain is there sometimes there is pleasure sometimes we have nothing in all the times let us praise a living god whatever it is always let us thank god for all the things that he has given us for the word says in psalm 150 praise ya praise abayava in his sanctuary praise him in his mighty firmament praise him for his mighty deeds 
Praise Him according to His exceeding greatness. Praise Him with trumpet sound. Praise Him with lute and harp. Praise Him with strings and pipe. Praise Him with sounding cymbals. Praise Him with loud clashing cymbals. Let everything that has breath praise Yah. Hallelujah. Yes. As we wake up in the morning, we see the birds, the tiny birds are chirping. They are praising the Lord. We are much more than that, isn't it? Let us thank our living God for His faithfulness at night and loving kindness in the morning. Psalm 92, verse 2. He provides all our needs. He is our Yahweh, Ire. God will provide. He is a banner. He is a Ishunasi. As we read in Isaiah 11, verse 10. And He is our Emmanuel. God with us. He is our Ebenezer. God will help us. And also, He will take care of our every need. And also, He will set the bound into prosperity. As we read in Psalm 68, verse 4, 5, 6. His name is Yah. And He places the psaltery in families. He is the father of the fatherless and the defender of the widows. Hallelujah. What is your request today, my dear brother, my dear sister? Go in the presence of Lord Jesus Christ and put up your request to Him. As we respect our company owner, as we respect our director of the company, we have the maker of heaven and earth with us. He is the Prince of Peace. Yes, He will bless us with peace, with joy, with happiness. These things cannot be purchased with millions of dollars also, isn't it? A mighty God will bless us with peace, joy and happiness. He is a mighty and a loving God. For word says, as we read in Luke 10, 25 to 27, word is saying, what shall I do to inherit eternal life? The word says, we have to love our living God with all our heart, mind, soul and strength. And second is, we have to love our neighbor. Yes, beloved, love is the greatest of all. 1 Corinthians 13.13 13. Love never ends. And love breaks all barriers. Isn't that wonderful? Let us seize the day. Let us be victorious in life. And let us never give up in life. Be encouraged and be blessed today and every day. Yes, for a mighty God knows our past, present and future. The eyes of the Lord are everywhere, keeping a watch on the evil and the good. As we read in Proverbs 15, verse 3. Yes, let us make it a point to read the word of God, the Bible. Jesus Christ will speak to you and to me, beloved. For he is the way, the truth and the life. John 14, verse 6. He is the living waters. John 4, verse 10. And he is the light of the world. John 8, verse 12. Yes, many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers him of them all. Psalm 34, verse 19 is true. Yes, and also the word says, yes, as we read in Psalm 121, it is true. I lift up my eyes to the hills. From whence does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord, who is the maker of heaven and earth. He will not let your foot be moved. Behold, he who keeps Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is your keeper. The Lord is a shade on your right hand. The sun shall not smite you by day, nor the moon by night. Yes, the Lord is with us. Hallelujah. Yes, he will keep us. Yes, and also, from the rising of the sun to the going down, let us praise the Lord. Yes, let his name be praised. The words are true. The word says to you and to me, beloved, behave courageously. As we read in Second Chronicles 19, verse 11, and seek the counsel of the Lord. 1 Chronicles 14, 10, as King David did always, seek the counsel of the Lord. Yes, how can we do that? When we read the Bible, Jesus Christ will speak to you and to me. As we read in Proverbs chapter 8, verse 17 to 21, the word says, yes, it is true that I love those who love me. A mighty God is saying, and those who seek me diligently will find me. Seek him diligently, beloved. Yes. And also, many are the afflictions. Does not matter. 
Trust the Lord at all times. Psalm 62 verse 8. Always say, Thy will be done. John 6 verse 38. For the word says in Proverbs 8.21, Bestowing wealth on all those whom he loves and making their treasuries full. Hallelujah. Today Jesus Christ is knocking at the door of your heart, my heart. Your house, my house. Let us ask him to come in. He will come and sup with us. He will bless us with peace. Peace that passeth all understanding. Hallelujah. Also, let us meditate on the word of God every day. Let us give half an hour to read the Bible and meditate on the word of God. For Psalm 112 verse 3 says, When we fear the God, a living God, he will bless us with richness and honor. The words are true. As we read in Proverbs 22 verse 4, the word says, When we have humility and the fear of the Lord, we will have honor and prosperity and righteousness and riches with us. Hallelujah. Let us take the blessings for a mighty God is faithful to his promise as we read in Hebrews 10, 23. Yes, and also, let the sword of the Lord be in your hand always. Judges 7, 20. What is it? It is the word of God. The word is life. The word is spirit. John 6, verse 63. And he who speaks the word, let him speak it faithfully as we read in Jeremiah 23, verse 28. And we read in verse 29. Hallelujah. For the word is fire, the word is hammer, which will break the rock into pieces. Hallelujah. Yes, every answer is there in the Bible, beloved. Whoever you are, whatever you are, whether you're rich, whether you're poor, whether you're somebody, whether you're nobody, a mighty God loves each one of us. The words are true. Yes, he loves you and me. And he will never leave us nor forsake us. The words are true in Deuteronomy 31 verse 6. And in all these things, we are more than conquerors. Romans 8.37 Yes, what God has planned, we believe that he will take us and carry us. Even in our gray hair and old age, as we read in Isaiah 46 verse 4. All these things will happen when we surrender ourselves in the hands of Lord Jesus Christ. When we commit ourselves in the hands of Lord Jesus Christ. He will take care of our tomorrow. Ask for the Holy Spirit. For we have been given the Holy Spirit, which will be our guide and help us to discern the right and the wrong. Yes. And also, when we commit ourselves in the hands of Lord Jesus Christ, He will take care of us. The words are true. I am His witness. The word says, only belief came true in my life. As we read the mighty word in James 1 verse 5, the words are true. If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask God that give it to all men liberally and abrideth not. Hallelujah. We pray for our dear children and the youth and everyone. Lord Jesus Christ, bless each one of us with thy wisdom. For thou art the fountain of wisdom. As we read in Proverbs 9 verse 10, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom and knowledge of Holy One is understanding. Hallelujah. Yes. Every answer is there in the Bible, beloved. Yes, and the word is for everyone. Whether you are even a prisoner, as we read in Isaiah 49, verse 9, the word says to the prisoners, go forth. And those who are in the dungeon, God is saying, show forth yourself. As we read the story of Joseph, yes, he was thrown, yes, by his brothers because of jealousy. Yes, we see the mighty God was there with him. And we read the mighty word in Genesis 45 verse 8. Yes, that he is the ruler of all the Egypt. His brothers said to their father, Yes, similarly, a mighty God is there with us. As we read the story of Job, from riches to rags to riches again, such a story is rarely been heard and seen, but it is a true story. The devil, the Satan, wanted to try Job. He took out everything from Job. But let us be faithful to our living God. As the word says in Job 42, verse 2, You can do everything that is a mighty God, and none of his purpose can be withheld from us. Same is true in your life, beloved, and in my life. Yes, a mighty God 
is there with us. He will take care of us. As we read in Exodus 40, verse 38, He made a way for us where there was no way, through the Red Sea. Yes, He plundered the enemies and gave us their wealth. And also, yes, we see He's been a fire pillar for us by night and cloud of shade by day. Nor did our sandals tear, nor did our clothes tear, yes, nor did our feet swell. And he's brought us to the land of milk and honey, where it rains from heaven, the rocks are copper, and the stones are iron. And where it rains from heaven, and also God cares for it, it is Israel. We are Israel, beloved. Hallelujah. Yes, let us be persistent in word of God, reading the word of God, and in praying. For nothing can stop what God has ordained for you and me. Isaiah 14, verse 27. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. James 4, verse 7. Yes, always make it a point to read the Bible. At least half an hour, anytime you're free in the day. And read in day or night. Read the Bible. Jesus Christ will speak to you. Underline the words. Put the date and the time. And Jesus Christ will bless you. If required, go and fast. As we read in Ezra chapter 8, verse 23, Ezra says, We fasted, we entreated our God, and He answered our prayer. He will answer your prayer. As He asked King Solomon, What do you want? And King Solomon said, Wisdom. We read in 1 Kings 3.13, God bless King Solomon with wisdom, richness, and honor. Hallelujah. It reveals His love for us. As we are speaking on the topic of love, yes, his love for us, his nature is revealed, yes. He blessed King Solomon with wisdom which nobody was having, yes. He will bless you and me also, beloved, with all our needs that we require. Just trust the Lord at all times. Psalm 62 verse 8, all the hard days will go away, yes. And also, there will be showers of blessing in your house and my house. Ezekiel, we read in chapter 34, verse 26, the land which is barren will be made a garden of Eden. Ezekiel, chapter 36, verse 34. Every promise is there in the Bible, beloved. Just make it a point to read it. And also, the word says, what shall I do to be saved? As the Philippian jailer asked Paul, Paul was in the prison, Paul and Silas, and they were praising the Lord. A situation which is very difficult to praise God, a living God, isn't it? When we are in hardships, and if somebody asks you to pray and to praise a living God, it is difficult. Yes, because our heart and our mind is not willing to do that. But let us do it as flow against the tide and praise a living God, as Paul did. And what happened? The prison doors flung open. There was a mighty earthquake. Yes, a mighty God comes riding on the heavens on the excellency of clouds to help you and me. Deuteronomy 33 verse 27. He will help you and me, beloved. Yes, he knows everything. He is looking at us. For even before we were formed in the womb, he knew us. Jeremiah 1 verse 5 is true. Yes, he is the living God. God of the living, not the dead, nor live to him. Luke 20 verse 38. Yes, and we see the Philippian jailer asks to Paul, Sirs, what shall I do to be saved? Because he was in the fear of losing his job because he thought Paul is not there in the prison. But Paul said, here I am. For also, when we honor our God, yes, God will also honor us. The Philippian jailer said to Paul, Sirs, what shall I do to be saved? Yes, the word is true. Yes. And Paul said, as we read in Acts 16 verse 30, it says, believe in the Lord Jesus Christ and you and your household will be saved. It's so simple. Only believe. Mark 5 verse 36. I am his witness. Yes, at a point of time, yes, I was left with the word only believe. Mark 5 36. And it proved true in my life. It will also prove true in your life, beloved. Yes. And also, O oh, taste and see the Lord is good. Blessed is the man who trusts in him. Psalm 34, verse 8 is true. Yes. Let us do a simple thing. Let us pray every day. For when we pray, we are speaking to God. And when we read the Bible, 
God is speaking to us. Bible, it is the manna to our soul, the road map of life. As the word says in Psalm 42 verse 2, Yes, the word says, My soul thirsts for thee, for the living God. Yes, it is true. As we eat our food, our soul also needs the food. That is the manna. Yes. And also, Jesus Christ will speak to you and to me. Yes. He is present with us, beloved, right now. Yes. And always. And he has all power and authority. Matthew chapter 28. As even the evil spirits and demons shudder in the mighty name of Jesus of Nazareth. Hallelujah. The words are true as we read the mighty word. Is speaking in Matthew chapter 28. And he's promised us he is with us till the end of the age. In all these things we are more than conquerors. Remember that. Romans 8 verse 37. And all his promises are Yah and Amen. In the name of Lord Jesus Christ. 2 Corinthians 1 verse 20. Yes. Let us love one another beloved. For it is a commandment to you and to me. And the first commandment is we have to love our living God with all our heart, mind, soul and strength. Hallelujah. As we read in Exodus 20, written by the finger of God, Deuteronomy 5, 6 to 21, Deuteronomy 6, verse 5, and also we read the mighty word, it is speaking to you and to me, from Luke 10, 25 to 27. Yes, for he is the Alpha and the Omega, a mighty God, Jesus Christ, is the beginning and the end. Yes, be filled with joy, for the joy of the Lord is my strength. Nehemiah 8.10 Yes, and he will bless us with peace. He is our Emmanuel, Ebenezer, Yahweh Ire, Yahweh Shama, Yahweh El Shaddai, Yahweh Roi, Yahweh Rafeka, Eishu Nisi, Eishu Masiha, Malekha Malekim. He is a Yeshua Sarah Shalom, Yeshu Tizat Kenu, Yeshu Tazarusi. He is a mighty God, beloved. Yes, and he loves you and me. Remember that. Whatever you are, whoever you are, whatever you are, Jesus Christ loves each one of us. Hallelujah. And the word says to you and to me, our mighty God is saying, You are precious in my sight. You are honored. I love you. And he will give men in exchange for you and me. As we read in Isaiah 43, verse 4. Hallelujah. Yes. Be blessed today and every day. Arise and shine is the message for you and me. Isaiah 60, verse 1. Do like and subscribe the channel. Arise and shine. Alfred Rathod and Family USA. This is Dr. Mrs. Alfred James Rathod speaking for the channel as God has called me to be a prophetess, evangelist and priest. I am here in his service. I would like to say, as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Joshua 24 verse 15. Be blessed today and every day. God bless you. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen.